today's video, we're going to do a review on the Toro striping kit. Uh, previously, I had a Checkmate uh, striping kit for my Toro Super Recycler. You can check out my review on my Toro Super Recycler above here. Um, but today, we're going to check out the Toro striping kit. begin today please consider subscribing to my channel I have a lot of cool DIY projects I have done in the past on there and also I'm going to show you how to organically make your lawn look better so this is what it looks like out of the box uh, I actually ordered it on uh, Amazon uh, the product link is in the video description below in case you want to take a look at it um, what I really liked about this one is it's really easy to get on and off and you'll see that in a few minutes why I say that um, I had a checkmate for most of the fall. Uh, I just didn't really like it. It was really hard to put on um, and get it off um, as opposed to this one. Um, I will give credit to the checkmate customer service. They were really nice. They sent me a UPS uh, shipping label to ship it back to them and they gave me a full refund and I really appreciate that uh, from them. Um, but I something about this. I think it's going to be a lot easier to turn on um, and it, like I said it's easier to get on. So this off. is the striping kit uh, out of the box here. Um, you can see here there's a roller on the bottom here and that's basically what is pushing down your uh, grass to make the stripes in your grass um, and as you can see here there's a little there's a little hole here you have to fill it up with uh, sand to make it uh, heavier so you can flatten out your grass blades to make the stripes and for the ones out there that don't know what striping is this is a picture of Citizens Bank Park um, and obviously I live right outside the Philadelphia area um, and this is what the act of striping is. It's the act of rolling the grass blades down in the direction that the mower is going um, and that's what achieves the striping look when the sunlight or the bright lights from the uh, ballparks, um, stadiums, um, as they shine down on the, the grass blades going a different way. Um, and that's how they achieve those really cool designs. Um, lots of times they don't use uh, rotary mowers, they use uh, real mowers because of the different kind of grass that they use. But um, it, you can get the same concept with uh, using a rotary mower and one of these striping kits like Toro has. So here's the setup once it's all on the lawnmower. Um, apparently via the instructions it says you want this on an angle a little bit uh, going towards the back of the lawnmower here. Um, and I found that the lowest setting here works the best. Um, and then coming back over to here, I found that the uh, one, two, the third one in works the best. Um, and here's the hook to get it on and off easier. Um, and that's what I really like about it. So I'm gonna get ready to hook it up and give it a go. As you can see here, my lawn stripes a lot better uh, diagonally on this side of my yard. Um, and you can see the sun hitting it really good right now at that lower end there. Um, and it came out really good. I really like this striper so far. It's really easy to turn. It's even easier to back up. 
um, and I really like it so far. So here's the front side of my yard. As you can see, I tried to burn them in the best as I could. The stripes, it's, um, you know, it's on December now, but my lawn is still growing a little bit. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it very helpful. Um, this is my first uh, go around with the Tora striping kit, as you can see here. Like I said earlier, I really like the being able to take it off uh, easily and store in this uh, really easily. So if you wanna not use the uh, striping kit, you don't have to, and it's really easy to get off. It's really easy to assemble. The only thing, like I said earlier, what I recommend is having two people to fill this up with sand. I'm gonna do an update uh, review video, probably in the springtime on the Toro striping kit, um, but I wanted to get this out today, um, just so if anyone's thinking about maybe purchasing uh, this for someone for Christmas, uh, it's a, it makes a great gift um, if someone's a real lawn enthusiast uh, like myself. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said earlier, I have a lot of cool DIY projects on my channel, um, as well as some cool lawn tips um, and how to make your lawn look organically better. Thanks again for watching. I hope everyone has a great, healthy, and safe holiday season coming up. 2020 has been one hell of a year, and I hope you guys have a safe one.